Welcome to the commercial licensing demo for Excel Automation. It's what you have in front of you is the English version, uh, just an example of what this can look like. We're going to go ahead and switch to the Arabic version. Again, both these pages are completely customizable, so you can change the look and feel, you can change the text, uh, you can display it uh, to your corporate standards, whatever you would like to do. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and switch back to English and to start the commercial licensing process we're actually going to use the business profiler to find out what our fees and requirements are that we need to start our business in any given country. We have the fields in front of us now that we might fill in to find those fees and requirements years, legal form, license type. We're going to go ahead and do a limited liability company uh, obviously all these choices are customizable, the fields are customizable. Now we're going to go find our activity that we want to perform. Uh, there's a few ways of doing that. What we're showing you right now is the ability to drill down. So if you don't necessarily know the name of the activity, you can kind of search for it based on different levels and identifiers. For this demo, we're going to do a five-star hotel. And we can search directly if we know what we're looking for, perhaps some keywords. For this example, we're going to search for five, and we'll be able to find our five-star hotel based on that keyword search. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the application and then we're going to go uh, submit this application to find out the fees and requirements that are needed for starting a five-star hotel as this example notes. So now we get back our results and it has our different approving entity fees, it has our agency fees, uh, it has some documents and requirements, post approvals, pre-approvals. It's just letting us know everything that we need to start a business some other things that you can do from here, you can create custom reports that the user can then print out or email. So for example, we're going to pull up an Arabic report. The look and feel of the report can be changed and altered as you need to, uh, but it, it, it gives the customer the ability to print this out in a meaningful way that they can take with them to the different entities, the different agencies. Uh, you can email it to your partners and things like that anyone that might need to see exactly what it takes to build a uh, license for your country. Um, we're also going to switch to English and we can do the same thing again uh, completely customizable on how you want it to look and feel. Um, everything's just pulled directly from the database. So now that we have that information uh, we can also switch the screen to Arabic um, just to show you that the uh, application is completely bilingual. Uh, each screen will have the different fields and labels in both English and Arabic, allowing the customer to switch back and forth easily if they so require.